So many people, uh, Kerry, calling for this man now to have his anonymity stripped because this is not the first time he's broken his, his bail conditions, his parole conditions, and people are saying, this is a sick man and, mm -hmm. and he's a danger. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I agree. And that's quite a bold statement for me to say as a psychologist. I believe in rehabilitation. I believe in treatment. Um, I believe that even though it wasn't popular at the time, I believe that as children we needed to protect their identity. So I understood that decision. He, to me, is now an adult sex offender. And no other adult sex offender that I work with is awarded the opportunity to be anonymous. They have to go out into the world. They are attacked and assaulted at times. And that's but something... It, but a lot of them wouldn't have been so publicly known. That is you true. Know, this case was so talked about and then it keeps coming up and anniversaries. Yes, so but when he's he was a kid, more, he's not a kid anymore. He's much more of a target, isn't he? He is, and I agree with that. And there's part of me that understands and there's part of me. I don't want to live in a society where we condone violence against anybody. I do not want that kind of society. However, when I look at this individual now, as an adult, he's very high risk. The reports that were read out in court determined that he was very high risk. Myself, looking, I conduct risk assessments every day on sex offenders. And when I look at his past offending, his current offending, he subverts authority, he um, is If you devious. ever hear the interrogation tapes I've heard that them. he's involved in, yeah, at 10 them. years of age, mm. psychotic, cold, very matter of fact about what mm -hmm. he did to that poor child. Absolutely. And that is one sick individual. And that is what we call, when we do risk assessment, we look at the previous. And previous risk factors can't be changed, they're there. But in addition to the previous, He's currently very dangerous. And something that I think is the key point in this dis debate is that um, one of the key differences between what we call dual offenders, so somebody who will con um, commit a contact offence and will look at indecent images of children, is opportunity, access to children. Well, Christine, and anonymity, can what I just, anonymity will increase his opportunity well, to offend. Th that's Kerry's argument. Well... Uh, you know, he is the most horrendous individual. His anonymity was granted not because he was looking at this child pornography, but because of what he... the Jamie Builder, because he is a murderer. That's why he was given anonymity. And he was a child. And he, he was a child. Now, my personal view is that he should... 99% well, of me says, actually, just lock him up, throw away the creek, chuck him mm. in the river with a heavy brick round, whatever. But... The 1% of me, which is what protects me from being uncivilised and what protects society from being uncivilised, is that you can't do that. And we all have a very thin veneer of civilization uh, on us, and the mark of a civilised society is how you treat your criminals. Now, you've only got to look on Twitter, for example, to see he wouldn't get beyond the prison lane if he was let out as John Venables. But he then Kerry be, believes he he's be dangerous. So who yes, are we protecting here? Well... I think he should be kept behind bars. I mean, I don't think he should be let out, I'm afraid. Um, and though his lawyer... I've written this down because I want to get this right, but his lawyer has apparently said he can still change and society should not give up. He still has the capacity for good. Now, uh, Kerry's the expert. He could, I don't believe he, be treated he has, and, and I think he should be kept locked up. I believe in change, but I also believe there's some offenders, and I've met them, who can't change. And at the moment, his present risk is very high risk. That means currently he will pose a high risk to children. I believe he will go on to commit a contact offence if given the opportunity. And I agree with you what you say, he's not going to get very far, and I understand that and I don't condone that. However, if I believe that he's very high risk and so do the other experts that have assessed him, that means that a child out there or another vulnerable yes. person will be at risk, could yes. end up dead. No, I... and, and for me, it's a choice between protecting the public or protecting him. Yes, but that's why I would keep him locked up, because I think he is such a danger to but the can public. Can we guarantee that will happen? He's got a life licence, so the judge has said in this case that actually at the end of his current sentence, he may stay in prison. That will be up to a parole board. But we saw what happens in the recent War Boys case. We can't so... guarantee that he's going to remain in prison. If he's released, another child could be harmed. If you release him as John Venables and there's a label tied around his neck and he's let out of prison, here is John Venables, everybody. He will be lit like feeding him to the minutes. lions. Now, I don't think that a civilised society can allow that to happen. Now, it goes against the grain because <coughs> I think the man is beyond the pale and he's an adult now, he knows what he's done. 
Can you imagine? He comes to live as John Venables. He comes to live next door to you, to you, to you. This, you know, it is, it's just never going to yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he and either has say... to have this, for... this anonymity, which he should not be allowed to live a normal life. He should be under curfew. He should not be allowed to do this. He should not be allowed to do that. Either way, it's going to cost us an enormous yeah. amount of money. Well, legally, for the anonymity yes. to be lifted, um, the court would have to be satisfied that Venables is no longer at risk of physical harm by the public. And that just that, that is never going, to, never going to happen. And I agree with Much Christine. as we may hate the idea that he's Ex been protected exactly. at our expense. I agree. The, the scenes that we saw right back in 1993 mm. with, you know, those hordes of people, and mm. that was when they were mm. children. Sure. I agree. I don't want to live in a society no. like that. I don't condone. I don't condone the death penalty. But if, if he is released, and I agree with you, at the end of this current sentence, I hope a parole board determines that he's high risk and he's not released from if prison. If you were on that parole board, you would say he needs to stay in prison. Absolutely. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For... Absolutely. And if he from, is... From the current risk assessment, mm. I obviously would have to review it in three years' time, but from the current risk assessment and what I've seen from his previous current um, risk factors and how they predict his future risk, currently, I would not want him to be released.